What is up you guys, I hope you are doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes and today I'm going to show you how to achieve a teal and orange look with two different methods within Lightroom and these edits will also be applicable to any video editing software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut guys. So a teal and orange is a very famous look so I'm just going to show you how to achieve it in a really quick manner guys. Let's jump into Lightroom. So guys, the teal and orange look is very famous, particularly in urban scenes for filmmaking or for photography, it's very popular and it really stands out in those situations. Now I'm just going to pull up the exposure of this image to see what we're working with. Next, I'm going to go all the way down to the color grading part. Now the color grading, I'm sorry that this is in Spanish, but the color grading part is basically the new split toning. Here we have now the shadows, the highlights, and also we have the midtones. So if we click on the shadows. Here we can see that the teal colors are completely opposite towards the orange and the reds. That's what makes this style so unique, guys, because you're using color contrast to achieve a, a very stylized look that is very aesthetic just because of that contrast in the color wheel. So what we want to do to the shadows is just add a teal color, just gonna pull the point in the middle towards the left. And this will depend on you guys how far you go towards the greens or towards the blues. I'm just gonna go slightly towards the blues. And I don't want to use a lot of saturation, otherwise the whole image will be completely blue. Just gonna go just like that, guys, around the middle. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Then I'm gonna go to the midtones. Now the midtones will control the skin tones, as I said. So I'm just gonna pull them towards the oranges tones over here, just like that. And then I'm just gonna pull up the luminance just a bit to make them stand out. Next up, the highlights. Now the highlights, I'm not gonna move them too much because let's see, if we move the highlights all the way to the extreme, you can see that the white of the t-shirt is basically gone, so the way to the oranges. We want to do it, just move it ever so slightly just to reinforce those skin tones that we had. Okay, now the skin tones are a bit lost, guys. So I'm gonna go all the way down to the HSL, and in HSL, hit the luminance tab and select the eyedropper tool. I'm just gonna select the skin tones and pull them up just a bit to make them a little bit more brighter. Just like that guys, as we can see the skin tones are composed of red and orange for this image or this particular model. So this is one way to do it guys, I'm just going to turn off the color grading part to see what we've done. And as we can see the original image was a bit more warm and now it has those teal colors in the shadows. Now if we zoom in we can see some of the skin tones have a bit of teal color. So what we want to do is just move the balance or in this case equilibrio <laughs> all the way up just a bit. Just a bit so slightly so the skin tones lose those blue tones that we added in the shadows and tend towards more towards the mid tones in general. So that's method one to achieving the teal and orange look in your photography guys. I'm just gonna turn off the color gradient part and go all the way down to the tone curves. Here we're gonna achieve the second style. Now for this case, I'm not gonna use the pointless curve or the RGB, I'm just gonna go all the way down to the red tone curve and I'm gonna create a point in the mid tones. Remember the mid tones control the skin tones a point in the highlights and a point in the shadow just to isolate this part and make sure it doesn't move a lot. And the point that's in the bottom that controls the blacks, I'm just going to pull it all the way down towards the teal colors. And as we can see, that teal color has appeared into the shadows, but it's not a very nice teal color, it's more like a greenish tone. So I'm going to go to a blue tone curve, do the same, add three points in the shadows, midtones, and the highlights. And then the point in the bottom, I'm just going to pull it up towards the blues so that the blues really start combining with those teal colors that we already added. Now we can see what we've done and basically adding that those tones allows us to have that teal color in the shadows. Now the skin tones. Now the skin tones we want them to be a bit more orangey and as we can see we don't have any orange tones in the RGB tone curves. So what we want to do is just blend in the reds with the yellows to achieve an orange look. So for that we're going to pull up in the red tone curve just a bit the mid tones and then the yellows kind of pull them down in the blue tone curve just like that guys. So we're achieving the, this orange look. Now, if we click this button on off, we can see what we've done. I'm basically adding this very contrasty look to the teal and orange, but it's a bit too contrasty, and that's basically because the RGB tone curves, well, they control the overall exposure and contrast of our image. So I'm gonna go to the first tone curve, the one that doesn't have any points. Just gonna correct a bit of the contrast, pulling up the shadows, pulling up the bit of the blacks, just like that, guys, and pulling down a bit of the highlights, just like that, guys, and here we have it our teal and orange look with the tone curves. So those are the two methods guys, but I always like to go all the way down to camera calibration to add a bit more punch into the teal and orange look. So for that, I'm gonna pull down the blue primary all the way down to the negatives. And as we can see, we pull down to the negatives, the skin tones really turn towards the orangey and reddish tones, but as well, the blues in the background really start to pop up. So I'm just gonna leave it around the minus 45. And then I'm just gonna pull down a bit of the saturation 
just to make the skin tones not too flashy and also a bit of the saturation on the red primary. Just like that guys, we can see what we've done with camera calibration and just adds a little bit of punch to this stylized effect. So that's about it guys, that's what I do with the teal and orange look, how to achieve it within Lightroom and also this same settings or this same values apply to any video editing software. So that's gonna be all for today guys, I hope you liked the video, if you did can you please give it a like, it really makes a difference and consider subscribing, I'm Tony Fuentes, hope you're having a nice day, cheers to all of you, see you in the next one.